Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox and our coverage of Basel World 2018. Today we are lifting the curtain on the Nomos novelties for the new model year. Of course, Nomos is the smallest, perhaps, big watch company in the world, or maybe the biggest small watch company in the world. Either way, the Glossuta-based independent is known for doing things differently, and that continues this year. So today the curtain rises on Nomos Glossuta's 2018 Basel World novelties and its newest line, the Nomos Autobahn. Now here's the thing. With the Autobahn, Nomos wants you to think of this, this, and possibly this too. Far and far and far and on the autobahn. So the bottom line is that Nomos continues its practice of working with noted artists and industrial designers through its four-year partnership with decorated Berlin-based visionary Werner Oslinger. Now, he's best known for neo-modernist works in furniture, interior design, and domestic concepts like the quirky but lovable loft cube home. Now, let's talk about the nuts and bolts of the Autobahn. 41 millimeters, stainless steel, with 100 meter water resistance, they've cryptically suggested that this is equally appropriate as an aquatic watch, a driver's watch, or a cyclist's watch. As a cyclist, I'm not sure I see what they're talking about, but it's a handsome effort and a memorable one. Now this is, contrary to Nomos' usual shell cordovan leather strap, a textile comes standard as you can see there. Let's stay on the photo for a moment. Lugs, crown, and strap are minimalist even by Nomos' often austere standards. Automatic caliber with display case back date and small seconds. Now three versions are going to be available. White silver plated dial, sports gray, and a particularly fetching midnight blue or Nachtblau dial. So all dials are loomed with super luminova, even if the press photos don't portray it clearly. Now there's more going on here. It's important to remember that the watch available approximately March 22nd through partnering dealers and direct from Nomos will be priced around 4,800 US dollars. Nomos declares that its new offering will be liberated from seat belts, speed limits, airbags, and car carbon emissions, so there should be something in that pitch to appeal to just everyone. Now dial highlights, we need to go back because dial highlights include the following. Subtle use of color as an accent for contrast and character. Radially arrayed numerals, this is where we need to get a little bit closer, you can see radially arrayed numerals like a vintage speedometer. Extended date window in place of the odometer, that's, that's where you would typically see the number of miles on your engine or your car, and an uncalibrated lower dial. Note the gap between 8 o'clock and 4 o'clock, just like a vintage tachometer. Now this is the inspiration for the layout you're looking at, and you can see the family resemblance. That's in an early Porsche 356. Now concave bowl-like camber, you really need to get close to see it, but you can see how there's no ray hot. There's actually a concave edge to the dial itself that's designed to recall epic racetracks of yore, like the Sopra Elevata at Monza in Italy, the mighty banked turns of Brooklands in Britain, and the high banks of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in the United States. Now, beyond the exciting new Audubon reference, which I should mention will have a display case back and be powered by a Nomos automatic caliber 6101 with 27 joules and a full balance bridge, a robust contemporary automatic created entirely in-house by Nomos, including the escapement, the swing system, uh, $4,800 available March 22nd. So if you're watching this on the 21st, skedaddle to your dealer or place your order now because they're going on sale in a few hours. All right. From something new to something well-known rendered differently, Nomos's long-standing Tetra model line receives an appetizing makeover for 2018. The classic Tetra, welcomes the Nomos Petite 4 collection of four watches inspired by Epicurean delights. And there you can see them laid out like cupcakes. Delish. All right, so the traditional stainless steel 29.5 millimeter by 29.5 millimeter Tetra case provides the vessel for the line's latest edition. New flavors, or dial colors, I should say, include a gentle pink pearl, a more aggressively rouged grenadine, you can see pink pearl, grenadine, the beautifully blue azure, which my 
Camera Tech Garrett was just commenting. It's a beautiful blue, and it is. And matcha green tea, for those who prefer their square watches, caffeinated. It is a subtle green. Now, the models include the in-house Nomos Caliber Alpha, their first ever in-house. It is a manual wind mechanical movement, nice and slim, only 2.6 millimeters thick, 17 joules, 43 hour power reserve, and the exceptional refinement for a basic caliber of having been adjusted in six positions. Most chronometers are only adjusted in five. So you'll also note Glasuta stripes, a hand-finished double spiral on the ratchet wheel, and true heat blued kiln oxidized screws for assembly. Availability is anticipated at the end of March. Let's break down the pricing. The Tetra Pearl will be priced at $2,320. The Tetra Grenadine at $2,320. These two models will feature solid case backs to enable personalization such as engraving or lacquering. The Tetra Matcha will be priced at, oh pardon me, those two will have the display case backs, and these two will be eligible for engraving. The Tetra Matcha at a discounted $2,080 and the Tetra Azure at $2,080. Those are going to be your two engravable or personalized optional items from Nomos. Now, of course, Nomos will execute the personalization. You can order it on their website or through your preferred engraver. These watches available either tomorrow in the case of the Autobahn or towards the end of the month for the Petite Four. And this is Nomos for 2018 at Baselworld.